Let's look at the five year age group splitting methods. We have done the 10 year age group. The 10 year age group will not give us a single age group. It will still put them into a group. But the five year age group, you'll be able to determine a particular age group. For example, you may want to look at the age group of six and know the number of six year old age that are in a particular group. So in this case, this one will help us. And how are we going to do it? We are going to use what we call the Sprague group multiplier. This is the Sprague group multiplier table, which we are going to use. It's adopted from uh, CHOW, a demographic aspect of educational planning. So we're going to use this table as it is. Now, let's look at how the table works. Right here, if you look up here, you have F minus two, F minus one, f0 f plus one and so on and you come this way so this number what are they representing this f0 represent the group under consideration the age group under consideration why this f minus one f minus two at the age group to two age group before the age group that you'll be considering and these are called the preceding group then this one from plus one plus two plus three they are called the following group in this particular area now if you go through this type you have the table one the second table and you have the intermediate table and under each of the tables you have a b c d e these ones are represented the years so the first table is represented from zero age zero to age four and the next one is from age six seven eight nine to ten and so on now how are we going to use this table this is a table that was generated to enable us to uh, disaggregate the five-year age group into a single age group now there is a way this table works let's quickly look at the other table before we go into how it works because this is the initial table but this table has been modified to have this we now have this as the modified form of the table but we're going to quickly look at how we can use this table let's look at the spragrum interpolation to consider what before you can use the table first you need to have the numbers in the two age group preceding the age group under consideration and next you must have the number in the age group following the age under consideration if you remember that we went through what we need to see in the two age group a while ago and we saw what uh, it is required now you come over here the next thing you need to consider let's say for example you have ages 0 to 4 5 to 9 10 to 14 15 to 19 20 to 24 these are the age group now if you have to consider the age group the consideration has to be given to 10 to 14 because that is the age group that is under consideration this is the age group 10 to 14 let's assume it's an assumption this is the age group we are considering and from here probably you want to bring out the total number of students that are age 11 or 12 because from 10 to 14 you have age 10 you have age 11 you have age 12 you have age 13 you have age 14 but this time you are not interested in all of them pulled together you're interested in a particular age group so let's assume the interest you have in the particular age group the age group is 10 you look at 40 if it is 11 if it is 12 or 13 and so on but having said so now there are other things you are going to consider right here if you go up again with what we have just been told consider the preceding age group so if you look at zero to four five to nine there are two groups that are coming before 10 to 14. so when you want to work with spragle multiplier you consider these two groups and at the same time you consider the two following group here you have 15 to 19 and 20 to 24. these are the groups you must consider when you want to determine a single age group from what you are working on then this may not apply note this may not apply to age 0 to 4 and from age 5 to 9 reason be that if you look at 0 to 4 0 is the base no other work can come before 0 so therefore we don't have anything that that 0 to 4 is going to fall back to and if you look at 5 to 9 
Instead of having two backwards, you have just only one, zero to four. The same thing is applicable when you are working with ages 75 to 79 and 80 and above. So you discover that you may not have the two two that you were told to consider. So what do you do in this instance? So if you are working with age zero to four age group, use the number in the three following age groups. If you go back to that table, you'll discover that in the group, you have only you have three sections up to f plus three that means you're going to consider all the three of that section but if you are doing having something that gives you the two before and two after you may not need to consider all the three then the same thing is applicable if you are to consider five to nine you cannot consider only one that is preceding it first let's go back to this first one zero to four if you are working on zero to four it means you have to consider 0 to 4, 5 to 9, 10 to 14, 15 to 19. This is what you will consider. But for 5 to 9 age, you will consider 0 to 4 because we have a particular group that is preceding it. So we consider that 0 to 4, then you consider 5 to 9, 10 to 14, 15 to 19. Unlike if you were working with just 0 to 4, you will consider 1, 2, 3, these three groups that are following me. That is what we're talking about. Now, if it is the age 75 to 79 and above, what do we do? All you need to do is now to consider the preceding group and the one following the group. And in over 80, you consider the base the group, the age group is based on the number in the three preceding group, just like we have in zero to four. That is what we're going to do. But for zero, 75 to 79, you treat it as if you are treating five to nine. Now let's look at an example that is given here. We'll have the age population by age group. First, we have zero to four age group, 120,000, five to nine age group, 110, 100,000. 10 to 14, we have 100,000. Then 15 to 19 age, we have 195,390. And for 20 to 24 age, we have 80,050. These are the age groups that we have for this particular population. Now, what are we expected to do? We are to estimate. What are we estimating? The children that are within the six years age group. So what do we need to do to achieve this? First, we have to look at the six years fall under which group. If you look at here, you see five to nine. That is where six years falls into. Because after five, you have six. In this group, you have five, six, seven, eight, nine. So six years fall into that group. So this group is the group that is under consideration. This is the group we have now that we're going to consider. That is the group under consideration. Let's uh, get it right. Five to nine group. That is the group we have under consideration. So what are we going to do in this instance for us to get it right? Straight away, we now have to bring out our Sprague table. Let's look at the Sprague table once again. From the Sprague table, we'll be able to estimate what that population is going to be for six years old. So what do we do now? We look at six years, where does it fall into here? Remember in the earlier part, I told us that this one take care of the ages. So this is age zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six is in the second table, FB. That is where you have it. And going by the consideration also, remember that since we have five to nine, this is the group under consideration, we are going to consider group zero to four, and we are going to consider 10 to 14 and 15 to 19. So we have to have it in mind, we are considering this group, we are going to consider 10 to 14, we are going to consider 15 to 19. Because these are the groups that we have before and following the group under consideration. 0 to 4 is preceding 5 to 9 and 10 to 14, 15 to 19 is following 5 to 9 age group. So having that in mind, we now come up for our 0 to 4 
where does it now fall into? If you look through this under the six before, you have to still see it because this one that takes care of this the two group coming before. You have f minus one, f minus two before, then f plus one, f plus two, f plus three after, then here takes care of the age. So the age under consideration here, this is where we are considering here. We are considering this line. That is what we are considering. Because this is where six fall into. This is where age six fall into. So that is the group we are going to consider in all we're going to do because we are looking for the age group that is under six. So therefore, we we'll now come up here, trace it up. If you trace from this six, trace it up, that gives us plus zero plus zero zero eight zero. That is how we arrive at zero plus zero zero eight zero times the population that fall into that age group, which is one twenty times one twenty, and that will give us eight one six eight hundred and sixteen. Then the next one, we have to consider the age group now under consideration, which is 5 to 9. Again, we have to come in here to look at the age under consideration. Remember, this is the age now under consideration. So we trace that 6 to that age under consideration. And what would that give? Well, that would be plus 0 plus 2, 3, 2, 0. That is how we arrive at this, times the total population we have the 110 100 so if you multiply it it will give you this number then the next one remember we have two group following it so we now come up see trace axis to the group the first group following it and that will give us 0 0.0480 that is how we arrive at this minus all those signs are very important put it there minus you add it times 100 which is this population that will give us this then when you come again the next one is has to fall under 15 to 19 which will be this trace it that again to where you have six and that gives us plus zero plus plus zero point zero zero eight zero times ninety five thousand three hundred and ninety that gives us this so once you have achieved this the next thing is for you now to put them into a that will, that will be plus eight one six plus Two five four two five five four three point two minus remember with this are minus minus four thousand eight hundred plus seven thousand uh, plus seven hundred and sixty three point one two. So when you put that it now give us twenty two thousand three hundred and twenty two point three two because we are dealing with human being we cannot have point three and three is not up to a number you can round up. So we leave it at twenty two. 2322 so what this simply means is that this is the actual number this 22322 are the number that are age 6 these are the people that are age 6 they fall into that age they are the age 6 years this is the number that are age six years. That is what it implies. So in this case, it means out of 110,100 that are within five to nine years age group, the total number of the group that is six years old is 22,322. So if the planner needed to plan, it would not be able to plan with this. So work on this and revise it. You can go over it more and more.